man so crazy trades again like this is going to be a crazy offseason yo what's good youtube it's d lloyd man and the golden state warriors have spoken they have made a trade and it's a confusing trade in my opinion so the golden state warriors will be receiving chris paul from the washington wizards who i initially thought would be bought out of his contract or at least shipped out relatively cheap however the crazy part is that was not the case at all chris paul being shipped in exchange for jordan pool a 2030 first round draft pick and a 2027 second round draft pick now i'm sure they're going to have to add more to that maybe another piece another you know role player going to washington but man that is a crazy deal for the wizards let's talk about the wizards first man the wizards they traded bradley bill this offseason we all know they traded christos porzingis this offseason as well people kind of made fun of them but moving those pieces in a rebuilding situation allowed them to get a lot of cap space and with that cap space they're going to use some of that on jordan Poole for essentially nothing because they had no intentions on chris paul playing for them at all this season and on top of all that you're still somehow getting a first round pick in 2030 where the golden state warrior dynasty should be well over by then so who knows where that pick is actually going to fall it could be a solid draft pick so this thing is very interesting to me I like this move a lot, a whole lot for Washington. They finally hit a home run. I wasn't mad at the other picks because I knew, or the other trades, because I knew why they were doing it. But man, for this to be the result, that is a great building block, a great building piece. Jordan Poole essentially gets his own team now where he will be free to shoot whatever long range threes to win the game as he wants. As for the Golden State Warriors, I'm not going to lie, I'm a little confused by this. You lose a great score in Jordan Poole who could light it up and who was still pretty consistent from three, although he was streaky. He was still a relatively consistent player that you had to fear. Chris Paul, his mid-range game is great. He's a great floor general. Maybe now you could play uh steph curry a little bit more off the ball maybe that is what they are thinking with this or you bring chris paul off the bench have him run the second unit maybe that is a possibility as well but i'm not quite sure i fully understand chris paul over jordan Poole makes the warriors a championship team as individual players yes chris paul might have an edge but he is 38 years old he is not a future player at all so you have to be going all in to win a championship now i just don't think what the other teams has been making moves i'm not quite sure he moves the needle that much for golden state but hey maybe we'll find out maybe things will be different and maybe chris paul is the key i just don't see it am i wrong for not seeing it because maybe i don't know maybe i'm not seeing it but for the wizards i love it for golden state eh, weird one to me but that's just my initial opinion maybe i'll sit down get a deep dive later um and really sit back and reflect and maybe i'll drop another video um with a full deep dive as to maybe this is a good deal for them my initial thoughts though uh, it ah i don't know we do know though that they called meaning the the warriors they called the phoenix suns to inquire about chris paul before he was shipped out to washington so there has been interest in Chris Paul the entire offseason for Golden State. Why? I feel like Brian Winhurst, like, why? Why is that? Why is that? Because I'm not, like I said, you guys let me know in the comment section below. Educate me a little bit. I'm not, I'm not in love with this. I'm not in love with this at all. So, I don't know. I'm wrong. I could be wrong. We'll see. But you guys let me know how you guys feel about it in the comment section below. Do you like this trade for the Wizards? Do you like this trade for Golden State? Am I wrong? Or do you agree with me that this was a win for Golden State? Um, not, well, not a win for Golden State. This was a win for Washington and not so much for Golden State. Let me know how you guys feel about it in the comment section below. It's D. Lloyd. I'm see y'all next time. Peace.